He says reaching your goals doesn't take a miracle. It takes guts and some Navy SEAL training doesn't hurt either. Retired Lieutenant Commander Navy SEAL Iron Ed Heiner is the author of Guts. That's greatness under tremendous stress. He's joining us on the floor right now before his big Warwick's event tonight. Uh, Lieutenant Commander, thank you so much for joining us today. I appreciate your time. Thanks for having me. Uh, you know, first, first off, what's this is your second book, I understand. So what was the inspiration for Guts? And I just love the title. Well, I, thank you for the title. I love the title myself. The inspiration really was uh, my own personal journey. And I just heard you talk about some veterans and kind of transitioning programs. And my journey started, you know, once I retired, but it really kicked in a few years ago. And um, I went back to some of the principles that I used to do when I was very happy, when I was uh, thriving. And that's what I wrote about in Guts. I took those principles and I took it and, and tried to deliver it in a way that you don't have to be a Navy SEAL. You know, you don't have to run up a hill with a log on your back. But uh, I think it's very appropriate, especially during this COVID period of time where people are, you know, under tremendous, tremendous amounts of stress and uh, anxiety. So the unknown. You know, I saw this line and this really spoke to me. It's like a personal boot camp for retraining the brain, breaking bad habits and thought patterns, taking risks and turning turning apathy into action. What a great summation. How do people do that? How do they get started and start overcoming their fears and moving towards success? Well, first you read the book. No, no. <laughs> um, it, it really, it's, I break it all down into small pieces, what I'd call the blue collar scholar approach. It's how do you actually do it? You have a lot of people out there claiming, well, we need to have discipline, we need this, but a lot of people are like, how do I get that? Mm -hmm. I break it down how to start forming discipline by language discipline, visualization, all these little controls that you can do that actually build up these little habits, build up what I call habitudes, habits of attitude over time and you transition and you don't even know you transitioned in, in your brain. You were a SEAL, but you also trained Navy SEALs. So what in SEAL training can someone like me or our viewers, what can they use to overcome obstacles in their personal lives, their careers and everything else? Well, one, you gotta be able to really control your mind. Okay. okay, I'll talk a lot about in there how to control your mind, not just meditation, but learning to control your focus. You know, we have a lot of focus thieves out there in the world now, it's Facebook and all these things happening to us, but learn to control your focus. And uh, well, a lot of the programs, if you can see my shirt here, I'm working local with, uh, I call it Sealpreneurship Program, Guts, and my partner, Charles Parisi, and I are actually working in the foster and youth system of uh, San Diego courts and juvenile system and, and some of the harder hit neighborhoods in this community and we teach these principles to kids. So it's not just for, you know, a seal, it's, it's for adults and kids. And uh, yeah, I would like anyone that can come out tonight at Warwick's, you know, on, online at Warwick's and get a book for the local library or someone they know is having uh, stressful issues. People can be in, people can be impatient, right? And you know, part of this, you can learn these things, but they're going to have to work the long run. How long should people put into achieving the dreams? If they're reading your book and saying, "I'm, I'm using this to gear up," what should they be putting? What kind of timeline for success in their life? Well, I, I talk a lot about that, and that's up to them. But look, it, I, I teach them how to manufacture motivation because we all have limited motivation, if you would, willpower, mm -hmm. right? It's there is a limited, finite amount of it. How do you manufacture that? We use the body. We use the mind, we use those, those tools to actually create that motivation. So this, it, this your dreams are continuously rolling down the road. You get a short-term goal, mid-term goal, long-term goal. And we'll talk about that. And in, in the book, we talk a lot about how to set those goals and so that they stick. And uh, I have a model for how it sticks to you. How do you make things stick so it's a habit in your life? And use a little neuroscience and all kinds of little crazy stuff. But we really boil down, or I boil down, in this book, the essence of what it is, not the logs in the cold water of being a seal, but just the essence. How do we do this? And I've had a lot of good support. Actually, Tony Robbins just reached out. I'm working with him this coming year. Uh, some of his programs, uh, he really loved the book himself. So, all right, I'm and good, good path here. For this. And we're having an event tonight. I'm going to tell our viewers about that. The book is Guts: Greatness Under Tremendous Stress. Retired Lieutenant Com uh, Lieutenant Commander, uh, Navy Seal. Iron Ed Heiner, thank you so much for your time today. I, I love you. what we got out of this, and I hope our, our viewers out there check into this book. Yeah. The event, you can meet Iron Ed tonight at Warwick's in La Jolla. That's 7812 Girard Avenue. The event starts at 6 p.m. Good luck.